Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props and in today's video we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing an unboxing of a Red Hood helmet from Villainous Prop Shop. I cannot wait to take a look at this. Okay, so this is the Red Hood Rebirth helmet from Villainous Prop Shop over on Etsy and their own webpage. And all those links will be in the description below. Really excited. I've always wanted to try out one of their helmets. He does a great job and this is really exciting. I mean, right off the bat, when you put your logo on the box, you know you're getting a quality product. I'm sorry. When you put the time into the actual shipping and the presentation of it, that bodes well for what's inside. So let's go ahead and slice this guy open and take a look. Okay, so right off the bat, very well shipped, very well packed. We have a lot of packing material here. We'll just dispose of that. Okay. Wow, that's nice. And we'll throw that nice box over there. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the helmet itself. Now again, very well packed, very happy with that. Um, this thing was not gonna be damaged in the least in transport. So let's take a look what we have. So right off the bat, very sturdy. Uh, you can tell it's got good infill, good wall strength. Um, it feels very solid. Uh, it has the back part right here. Overall first glance, very, very sharp. Um, it is an FDM print, it's not a resin print. There's gonna be some layer lines, but this thing is, he's got this printer dialed in really well because this sucker is very, very smooth. Um, this will take very little painting and finishing work. Speaking of that, we are gonna be doing that with this helmet. This is gonna be an entire series where I've done the unboxing and then we're gonna work on finishing and filling and sanding, whatever we need, and then painting. Then we're going to move on to uh, adding uh, LED uh, lenses and some padding to fit to finish it off. So there's going to be four videos in total finishing this helmet. But it is super sharp and in amazing, amazing condition. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, a little bit closely so you can just see how fine these layer lines are. So look at the detail on this thing. I mean, A, it is very sharp, the lines are very clean, and it, the layer lines are almost invisible on this print. I mean, they are there obviously, it is an FDM print, you're gonna have to finish this thing to make it glossy smooth, but at the same time, even when I rake the light across the sides of the print, which would usually show any type of lines or any type of imperfections, yes, they're there, but they are so, so minimal. This is gonna be super, super easy to clean up. Very, very impressed with this print. Okay, so probably the next most important thing other than the quality of the print is, is it going to fit? So if you go to his Etsy page and his website, he's got a little graphic that shows how to measure your head to make sure it fits. So what you want to do is use one of these um, uh, seamstress or uh, tailor tapes. Uh, you can also use a piece of paper, a uh, big piece of paper, cut it out, go around your head with it, and then measure that. But these are a few dollars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what to do. You're gonna get the tape, you're gonna put it on your head, wrap it around like this until they meet. Okay, so you can see that it's meeting right there. I'm gonna put my finger there, and it is 24, 24 inches. So that is a big melon. But hey, what are you gonna do? So 24 inches. So. What you wanna do when you're ordering a print from Villainous Prop Shop is, if your head measures 24 inches, that is the measurement you order. Don't order it any bigger. They factor in padding or things like that that you're gonna to need to put in. Do not go any bigger. If you say, oh, I, I measure a 24 and you order a 25, it's gonna be, it's like a bobblehead. So give them your exact measurement that you get off the tape. So let's go ahead and put this guy on. So wow, this fits really, really well. Slides on super easy. The back 
goes ahead and pops in there just fine. I am gonna need to add a little bit of padding just to make it a little bit more comfortable and this sit better on my head, but giving him the exact dimensions, the exact circumference of my head, this print is a perfect fit and he's gonna need very little padding. You want some in there anyway, but wow, this fits really, really well. Very, very happy with it. When I print helmets, I end up printing them either way too big or way too small. You've seen some of my videos. <laughs> and uh, I had to do a lot of work to make them fit. This sucker, I gave them 24 inches, circumference of my head. It fits. Fantastic. So if you want to pick up a just amazingly printed helmet that is going to need very little work, to finish it, then you can't go wrong with one of Villainous Prop Shop's helmets. These things are really sturdy, almost invisible layer lines, and this is gonna take very little finish work to make it look fantastic. And that's what we're gonna be doing in the next video. We're going to be, uh, I'm gonna show you how to sand this, what type of finish you need to put on, priming to get it ready for final paint. And then after that, we're gonna be doing a final paint job then we're gonna work on wiring and final fit. So this is gonna be a really fun project. I can't wait. Again, if you're interested in picking one of these up, I highly recommend them. Head over to their website and or their Etsy shop. Links are below. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it and have a great day.